Hi, hello. Welcome to Devon Mugs Forks and Worlds. This is Monday Mug 47, and this is my second try at this video because my uh, camera was not recording. <laughs> so we're going to go through this all again, or the first time, because this is hopefully the one that's recording. Um, welcome here. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've had good holidays. If you aren't a holiday celebrator, I hope you have had a good week and a good weekend uh, in your December rolling into the new year. Here we go, people, into the new year. I'm excited about it. I'm definitely in planning mode, um, kind of looking into 2023 and thinking about what I want to get done and looking at 2022 and seeing what worked well and what didn't work as well and doing the adjustments that need to happen so that 2023 can be even more fun. <laughs> okay, so thank you for being here. I usually talk about how writing is going, how knitting is going, and how monk world is going, just things in monk land. And uh, so we'll start with writing. Writing is going well, thank you. Wayward Sky is out. You can find it in ebook in any place where you usually buy your ebooks. And it is also out in print form if you want a, a print copy. Um, I was poking around on Amazon and noticed that they haven't linked the ebook and the print version yet, so that when you click on the title, you get either the ebook or the print. But if you want to find one or the other, you know, you can go into the book section and then you can choose you know, Kindle or digital, or you can pick print and then just put in the title and it'll show up. Amazon will link these together so that when you click on the, the Wayward Sky search, you will get both versions and can pick whichever version you want to purchase. But um, it's the holidays. I figure things are slowed down and I'm giving them a little time to get to that. If they don't get to it, I'll, I'll contact them and, and make sure that those get linked. But yes, it is out. If you feel like a little read over the end of the year, uh, Wayward Sky is, in my opinion, a nice way to spend a couple hours. And I hope you enjoy it. If so, you can leave a little star rating on Amazon. I think there are ratings available without having to actually type in a review on some of the other online places like Barnes & Noble and Apple and Kobo. But uh, yeah, authors always like uh, to hear reviews or little star ratings and to know that readers are, you know, had a good time or a reasonable time or, you know, at least took a read on it and gave an opinion on it. That's always fun to hear. Um, so yeah, Wayward's out. That's the writing thing. The other part of writing is I am reassessing which book I'm writing next. I seem to be saying this all the time, but I know I'm writing a hockey book next and I was going to write Thorn, but it might make more sense for me to write one of the other titles in the series. And so I'm thinking that through and we'll be getting to that next. Definitely hockey. So uh, West Hell Magic series, Urban Fantasy plus Hockey. Not sure which one of the books I'm going to write. Um, but I have, an, I have a pretty good idea, but I need to actually just start on it, get the outline going and see if that's the one I'm going to aim towards. So I'll keep you up to date on that. Uh, what else is going on? Knitting. Did some knitting over the holidays. I you remember, I don't know if you have our viewer who tuned in a few videos back, but I lost, I gave my son a fingerless glove for Christmas last year. I only gave him one because I hadn't finished the second and I thought, oh, I'll get it done really quick. And I got halfway through it and then I lost them. I had the knitted, half knitted one in a knitting bag, which is good but I didn't have the finished one and I needed it to compare the size that I made and the just to make sure that the two gloves match. I couldn't knit the half knitted one until I had the original one and I and then he would, wouldn't even have two gloves. So um, I was looking for them a couple months ago, no luck, but I found them like two days before Christmas and so I spent an entire day and night, I, I stayed up very late getting the second one knit and finish and it's a pattern I hadn't touched for a year and it's a little complicated so it took a little brain power to get into it and but I'm very happy it got done and I was able to give it to him that both of them to him this year so he has a set and I just want to show it to you the pattern is called I think stair steps but it's a designer from I don't know maybe Germany or something uh, I'll have to look so I I can't pronounce the title very well but I will put a link below to it these are the gloves pretty nice right and um they go, well, I never do the camera very good. They have knit on, knit rows on the bottom, and then these are purl rows across the top. And then these are, you know, the fingers are done in it. And it's kind of neat on the thumb, which might be hard to see, but they do, a, there's a full like, um, 
I don't know how to show you this very well, but there's a whole knit line that goes up the thumb here that also continues on the inside of the of the knit, so it feels very cohesive. These are knit in the round. I don't think this pattern is also offered flat, which is like back and forth on needles. These are, you know, you start at the bottom and off you go and you end up up here at the fingers. Anyway, I'm happy how they turned out. I think they are really cool, unusual looking gloves. And um, I he enjoys them, so I'm very happy about that. They're warm, which is nice. And they're done, which is also nice. <laughs> so that's one knit thing that was done I wanted to share. And now, ooh, <laughs> this is the knit toy I'm going to give away in my newsletter, probably Wednesday, maybe Thursday of this week, definitely before the end of Jan uh, December. Are you ready? It is cat. <laughs> I am giving away Penny Cat uh, with little tail. This is a little banana. I, if you have kept up with my knitting toys, I did a panda bear in this same style. And I thought the pattern was so cute, these little squishy guys, that I should make the little cat version. There's a whole bunch of versions. You can make mice and, and uh, frogs and stuff. So this is a banana with a little um, cat tail and a little kitty, kitty cat much cat <laughs> little orange cat so little orange cat will be given away in the newsletter and so if you aren't a subscriber and you like the idea of getting in it toy and finding out what's going on with my writing and such and also I always recommend friends books that are on sale or have recently come out or are are you know interesting reads I always recommend in my newsletter so sign up for the newsletter it's free it comes out once a month at the most it doesn't always come out once a month but you will be in the uh, possibility for winning a knit toy if you're just a subscriber. Okay, so that's writing and knitting. Now we're on to just Monkland. What's been going on? Well, we had an ice storm and it I guess it wasn't an ice storm. Like I feel like an ice storm sounds like, you know, there's ice blowing sideways and that's not quite how it hit. We got sleet, which is ice blowing sideways, um, but then it froze it was you know both it was freezing rain that sounds so weird because sleet is freezing rain but sleet is kind of frozen rain and our rain froze like it landed and froze and then we had sleet and then we had fog that i don't think they were expecting and our temperatures were down in the low 20s uh when that fog hit so then my grandma used to call that a silver thaw and i'm not sure if that's what they call it anymore but basically everything froze uh, but it only, f it was a very, it wasn't quite half an inch. So it wasn't like a thick sheet of ice. But I got to tell you, any amount of ice, we live on a hill, is incredibly slick. And everything was an ice rink. Um, no cars tried to go down our hill. Uh, well, one did. And I'm not sure how they did getting to the bottom. Um, but uh, we tried not to go outside at all. The one time we did, we had one little slip in a slip outside that was, you know, had, had a little bang up, uh, everybody's okay. Um, but walking outside took, um, you either walked in the grass or the dirt or some place that had some sort of material poking up through that thin layer of ice. You couldn't break the ice really on any flat surface like concrete. So that we got basically locked in for a solid almost two days, a day and a half solid power stayed on we were plenty warm we had food in the house so we we're very lucky that way and very happy but it shut everything down right before you know christmas weekend and so as soon as it started um thawing uh, my husband and i decided that we needed to get the rest of our gifts that we had for family in the area delivered we were going to do it the day that it th that it iced and didn't get out so we did it as soon as it started thawing and in true oregon style it didn't just like start thawing and melting. We had a huge rainstorm and the temperatures rocketed up by almost like 20 degrees or more, almost 30 degrees. And it just deluged. It just downpoured and basically washed all of that ice away just out of sheer, <laughs> it was almost like angry rain, just washing that ice away. But we went out right before the deluge hit. So it had just started to melt and it was slushy and icy. And we thought we can probably make it Let's try the electric car. So we went out in the electric car to see how it would do in the ice and the rain. And for reasons, uh, one, my husband had the yak tracks for his shoes so he could actually walk in the ice. Uh, whereas I didn't have those, I'm totally going to buy some sort of traction device for my shoes. 
Um, but he had some, so he was the walk up to the door person. So I was the driver and, um, I have driven some in snow and some in less than ice. I'm a pretty confident driver, but I'd never done the, an electric car ever in that kind of weather. And here's what I have to say. The Chevy Bolt that we own has one foot driving, which means when you put your foot, I mean, it has regular driving where you just drive it like a regular car, gas, brake, regular, but it has another way that you can drive. You can put it in one foot mode. And what happens is when you put the gas down, gas, you know, the gas pedal, the electric pedal or whatever down, you accelerate. And when you take your foot off of that uh, pedal, you decelerate really quickly and you can come to a full stop and never have to put your foot on the brake and you don't roll forward. Your, your forward momentum just stops without having to actually brake. And we thought that might be interesting in the ice and the slippery to see how it handles having to break in the ice and the slippery. So what I can tell you is it was brilliant. I didn't have to break almost the entire time. Anything slippery, I could just take my foot off of the accelerator and it would immediately start slowing the car at, at it slows really quickly. So it would slow it way down. It was easy to keep in control. Uh, of course, I was very careful about going into the acceleration because if you hit that too hard, you're going to, you know, spin out in the gravel or spin out in the ice a little bit. But uh, it also has a brake paddle on the steering wheel. So you can brake. It's kind of a soft brake on the steering wheel. And then you have your actual brake pedal too. So there's plenty of ways to brake. But um, while I was out, I was taking my foot off that accelerator which would slow the car and bring this car to a stop and if i felt like i needed to stop even a little more quickly than that i could hit that brake pedal on the um, steering wheel and it slowed it down a little more quickly than how we were without still hitting that brake so i've got to say it was fantastic in the in the snowy well it wasn't snow i wish it was snow in the slushy rainy um t driving well slush rain ice driving conditions I really thought it was stable and it felt more stable than the other cars that we have that I drive. And it's a all wheel drive. It's automatically all wheel drive and has a traction mode, which it, it remains in as you drive it. You have to take off the traction mode. So um, it was very safe and felt really fun to drive in because it felt like as long as I was watching the speed and watching the, you know, icy spots, it was a, it was a breeze. It was really good. So chalk went up to the electric car. It did a great job in some crummy weather. And I'm really impressed with that because I wasn't sure how it would drive in the ice or anything like that. So good job, electric car. Can, can recommend. Okay. So, and we did get all of our gifts um, delivered. So that felt good too. And uh, yeah, we had a happy little holiday together with a little gathering of family. Um, gave some gifts. I received some really fun stuff. I'm really happy with what I got and I was really happy to see people enjoy what they received. Um, we had a little breakfast together. We uh, played a couple games. Actually, we only played one game because we were on a short time limit. There were other families to get to and so we had kind of a, a limited time together. It's still a wonderful time together. But we played a couple of uh, uh, rounds of Dominion, which is a, a kind of a deck building, well, not really deck building, but a card game, drafting card game maybe it's called, I'm not sure, but Dominion. And we played one of the expansion packs, super fun. I really like that game. And uh, yeah, then we just kind of sat back and chatted and, and watched the day go by and, you know, just spent time being, I don't know, present. And it was very nice. And I hope that you had a wonderful holiday too. And like I said before, if you don't do holidays, I hope you had a wonderful weekend so far and the end of December. I hope it is treating you well. I will see you all next week, which will be in 2023. So I'll see you all next year. Um, but until then, remember to check out the newsletter. There will be a knit cap <laughs> that could be yours. And also the messenger pigeon hasn't been claimed yet poor messenger pigeon. <laughs> so somebody's going to be in the running for my poor little lonely messenger pigeon that nobody has asked for yet or has claimed once they've won it. So fingers crossed the next person that gets chosen at, by the random number generator will enjoy having a little messenger pigeon and the other person will enjoy having a cat. But until then, I will just say goodbye. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you soon.